Jill Coleman. I am a nationally certified massage therapist for your pet. I'm also an animal Reiki teacher and a first aid instructor for pets. Um, and I hope this works. So I brought a lot of props with me. As you can see, I used to be a science teacher, so I brought the classroom to you. And if you haven't gotten over seeing all the gross pictures from your biology classes, have that at the end. Okay. So, this is the brand new logo that James Bahar designed for me, and it's now on the sign inside the office, so I'm going to show that off. Here's the laser seated on my door. There's my greyhound. So I have a brick and mortar office um, on the corner of Lakeview and Highland in Clearwater. Um, call first if you're going to stop by, because I'm always there. Now my motto with the company when I started it is I'm going to heal your family by healing your animals. Follow the idea of let animals lead. It's a special training that I went through. So the animal is in charge. How you can find me? All three of these websites lead to the same place. So please send people to there for more information. Quick tour of the website. There's some drop down lists on the top. You can learn about Reiki and animal massage and first aid classes. And I'm not going to read this, but we. <laughs> We function as a complement to your veterinary care. I am not a substitute. I am going to ask you who your vet is. I am going to ask you if you're going and taking them. Because I'm a team member with them. I'm not a substitute. I'm there to help them. Um, you go to the website, there's places to make appointments. Of course, you can always do it old school and just call me and I'll be with you. OK. I can do a treatment at your home. If you're within five miles of the office in Clearwater or a 15 minute drive, I don't charge for distance. If you're further than that, we'll work it out. I can do this at your vet, or I can use and come to our studio in Clearwater, which is the most economical way for you. Three services, animal Reiki, which is called um, energy medicine. If you've never heard of that, you can read about it on the website. I can do a whole presentation just on and therapeutic pet massage. Small animal does not mean chihuahuas. It means smaller than a horse. Any kind of animal that doesn't have a hoof, I am certified. So rabbits, cats, dogs. I guess I can do a ferret. I don't know what I would want to. But, um, and then I also offer the pet first aid. This has been devastated by COVID. I basically put that part of my business on hold for 16 months. So I'll talk more about that. Uh, what makes me different than other massage therapists, if you can even find one? There's only a couple in the whole Bay Area. Um, I have a biology degree. Um, I was a science teacher, so I look at things when I learn them a little bit different <laughs> than someone else. I have 280 plus hours of training. 100 is the minimum for this certification. So by having so many hours, I'm also eligible for board certification, which I'm trying to study. Hopefully, I'll be the first board certified person in the area. I have insurance, and this is stuff we can read. If you've set up a one to one with me, I'll be happy to show you this whole presentation. You can read it. Um, there's lots of benefits to massage. Same as with humans, so I'm not going to bore you with that. Um, part of what I want to emphasize is sometimes you shouldn't do a massage, whether it's your dog, if you're doing it to your dog, or me doing it to your dog. And that's really important. Um, just as a public service announcement. If your dog has an infection right now that's on antibiotics, please don't do a full body massage on them. Just do the ears. Okay? Yes, cat and dog massage is a real thing. I'm trained in acupressure. That's the kind of out the needles. Only a vet can use the needles. Swedish massage, tea touch, monofacial release, trigger point therapy, token, tweener. Traditional Chinese military medicine, scar <laughs> tissue massage, gait assessment, hydrotherapy, stretching, and first aid. And I love this picture. <laughs> it puts it in perspective. Although a lot of the bones and muscles are made the same, they don't function the same. And this is why we go get training in this. All dogs are different, they come in different shapes and sizes. Um, if you see that pug in the middle, it almost looks like an egg. <laughs> But they all come, even though the bones, see the one on the bottom middle, the little dog versus the big dog, it's like a Great Dane versus a Toronto. So you can see that my massage technique is going to be very different based on the dog. The 
it's just a cool picture. All right, these are my teachers over the last few years. And there's many, many more. You might recognize some of them. And there are four great referrals. And Clay, what's one of the referrals I'm looking for? All right, you're looking for a groomer, a sitter, <coughs> or a veterinarian that you personally know. Yes. No strangers. Yes, I want the warm referral, your vet, or if, you're, if there's a neighbor that should have Pete, what's another? Oh, no, I'm sorry. I think that one is. <laughs> An athletic person that runs, hikes, and bikes with their dog. Yes, we want to keep the dog biking and hiking and running with them. Most dogs are not built to be long distance runners, so we're going to have to get in there and maybe help them along. Maybe we educate that person <coughs> on how they could extend the life of their animal's needs and get a little longer. Okay, Pete. Yeah, pet owner or pet owners with a pool, or they have, or they're next to a body of water. It's important that they learn uh, pet first aid just in case. Yeah, um, I'm looking. Once I get my pet first aid classes launched again, we can go live with COVID and sort of hopefully bathe. I am gonna be wanting to meet. Many, many pool owners. I keep hearing sad stories about dogs that have drowned. <laughs> so. And Sarah, <coughs> what's the other great referral? Um, so I'm looking for older dogs and cats with arthritis, hip issues, on the water, <coughs> back legs that fall out from under them. And sadly, if the back of the vent says that they're near the end of their life. Yeah. So if you see a dog walking a little funny um, and that pet owner is worried about it, that's a good referral for me. I also do kind of a palliative hospice care, so if the animals in the last couple of months, I can do something to help comfort them before they, um, you know, meet the rainbow bridge. <coughs> so my unicorn of referrals is called a tripod dog. I'm actually offering service for free with them for this year. So if you know someone with a tripod dog, you see them, I would love to talk to them. Please send your referrals to any of my social media pages to learn more, or to my website. Um, you don't have to sell me, I can sell me. Just, you know, identify the dog and that's all I need. Okay, easy in-house referrals. If you don't have a pet, or you don't know anybody with a pet, you can just go subscribe to my YouTube channel, put nice, thoughtful comments and questions in the feed. <laughs> um, I have I put that down. I got really busy April, May, and June, and I didn't work on my YouTube channel. Well, now things are slowing down thanks to the COVID wave, so I um, will be working on my YouTube channel again. The other thing you can do is I have a Patreon membership if you want to join for three bucks a month. That's here. And if you have used my services or referred someone who's used my services, please have them do a Yelp or a Facebook review. That was really do help me. Um, two minutes. Great. Perfect. Okay, so I have classes. I'm trying to return to doing classes. The one I'm pushing this month is for BNI members only. It's gonna be on Zoom. It's a $10 donation. I'm giving everything with the credit card fees to a local charity. And it's, a, it's basically a one hour class on first aid, bite stings, and poisons. It, it's the only topic I can do without being hands on. So I would love it if you all participate and kind of see. It's not quite the same on Zoom, but you get kind of a taste of what I'm doing. And that's the end of part one. We'll have to schedule a one-to-one -to, -one to see part two where you can see pictures of my family. Because we can't hand out cards, you're welcome to come up and take a picture of any of these signs. Um, I do have cards and some wipes if you want to dare break the rules and grab a card. <laughs> and um, one of the reasons the dog is in the middle of the room is because I don't work on the massage table. I work on the floor. I let the dog duck and get up and get a drink of water and go. I'm not offended. Sometimes I go look out the door, come back in. So that's why the dog is in the middle of this. All right, any questions with my last one minute? Oh, what do you do for tripod dogs? Um, I work on the <coughs> other lips because it's, especially if it's a back leg that's out, they blow both knees, they're in a wheelchair. So that's why we try to keep all the other three limbs healthy. 
can you help dogs that have really bad separation anxiety? Well, we will work with you. That would be part of it. Okay. Um, I can work with Reiki work, meditation, some form of meditation that I do with you and the animal. And we can work on some key acupressure points that bring down the anxiety. Good question. All right.